Midwestern boy. Uh, I live in Los Angeles now, and my old man's a mechanic, so he doesn't understand the entertainment business. You know, I, I called my dad up, I'm like, yeah, dad, they're gonna pay me money to do this commercial, and all I have to do is lay in the grass with some dogs. <laughs> and he goes, well, what do you have to do to the dogs? <laughs> and I'm like, it's a cell phone commercial, not a peanut butter commercial, dad. He doesn't get it, he doesn't understand man, like he doesn't understand the entertainment, he doesn't understand technology either. He just learned how to text message uh, like about a month ago and uh, he sends emojis now. <laughs> and look, like not just one or two smiley faces, he sends strings of emojis <laughs> like a 15 year old girl. <laughs> right, I was back home visiting him and I was like, hey Pop, I'll be home in 15 minutes. He's like, thumbs up emoji, thumbs up emoji, happy face, happy face, cool face, cool face, glass of beer. <laughs> So I respond, I'm like, man, whoever taught you how to use emojis should be shot in the face. And he goes, pistol emoji, pistol emoji, cry face, cry face, ghost, ghost, tombstone, glass of beer. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, you win. What are we having for dinner? And he's like, eggplant emoji. <laughs> like, I hope we're having eggplants. <laughs> I'm a bearded gentleman. Any other bearded gentlemen? Bearded gentlemen? Bearded gentlemen? That's a goatee, but you can play along. <laughs> you can play along. Uh, the one thing I know about bearded gentlemen is we still appreciate a woman with hair down there. <laughs> That's right, this isn't even my beard, guys. Drink up, 
You know, like alcohol is the best. Like it's so good, I almost completely ruined my life with the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like I don't care what drugs you're doing either. I don't care. Like I'm more concerned with the drugs you aren't doing. <laughs> like what do you mean you've never eaten LSD? <laughs> you don't want to know what the color blue sounds like? <laughs> Hear the rainbow, bitches. <laughs> a girl came up to me and she's like, hey, congratulations on six years sober. I know exactly how hard that is. I'm like, oh, cool, you're sober too? And she goes, no, I'm gluten intolerant. <laughs> like, I don't think that, she's like, it's totally the same. I'm like, oh, she's like, listen, I can't even have one Mike's Hard Lemonade or my stomach will hurt so bad that I won't go to work the next day. I'm like, oh, word. If I have one Mike's Hard Lemonade, I'm never going to work again. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and she kept trying. She's like, it's totally the same. Like, sometimes I'll go cold turkey for a while, and I'll slip up, and I'll eat a muffin. Like, word, you ever eaten so many muffins that you fell off a roof? <laughs> like, it's not the same at all, you know? Because if it was the same, I could just imagine her sitting outside of a bakery. The baker comes out of the bakery like, I thought I told you not to come around here anymore. <laughs> She's like, but Jim, I just need one more scone to get through the morning. Just one more delicious scone. <laughs> and this lady is so dense that all she hears is delicious scones. She's like, I love scones. I love scones so much. I'm like, oh yeah? Have you ever had a scone so good you try to fight your dad? <laughs> like, comparing your gluten intolerance to someone's alcoholism is like, if you fell asleep on your arm one night and then told an amputee about it. <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee now. Uh, that ain't coffee to an alcoholic. That's my drug of choice. Woo. I love coffee. Sometimes if I haven't had a good cup of coffee, I'll crush up the grounds and <laughs> We're gonna get some stuff done today, guys. We're gonna get all the stuff done. Oh, but I drink real coffee. I drink real coffee. I don't understand the cure rate at all. Like, who drinks one cup of coffee? Who does one line of cocaine? You know what I mean? This guy I wanna hang out with right buddy, yeah. Right? Like a K-cup is like a key bump of coffee. Like, I'll do a K-cup if I'm getting paid at five o'clock. And I can go out and buy an eight ball of Colombian. Dark roast. All right, guys, Columbia does two things real well. Coffee and booger sugar. That's right. I know, I know, it was a bold move for me to do a cocaine joke. But this is clearly a meth town. 